and welcome to the Star Squad. I have been on television my entire life, well almost, on shows like One Life to Live and General Hospital, and now I'm streaming with you. Join me as I play games, talk soaps, get very competitive with my boyfriend, make parodies, have laugh after laugh with our amazing community, and you can find me dancing with my Emmy Award. Yes, I won an Emmy and now I dance with it on Twitch. Anyway, if you are not convinced at how much fun we have, check out these clips. I'd like to speak to the mods of this channel, please. <laughs> Don't do that to me, but do it to me, you know? Habanero. Like, really, really, really. Like. Who's leaving? Red wins the week. <laughs> everybody how we doing tonight oh my gosh again the music is so lame for what we are doing <laughs> i need to find new royalty free music because uh it's just not matching the mood sometimes we're feeling really like chill like this but uh tonight uh is a little more exciting because we have the nick roebuck on the stream tonight my ex co-star my ex uh lover on the show uh my very very dear friend he is incredible and uh i'm sure you guys have seen us stream live together on my instagram before this is the first time he's been on stream with us and with the star squad so i'm very excited to have him here um oh thank you that you love my sweater um i was just posting on instagram to be like we're live we're live alert alert um guys i missed you all i hope that you're doing amazing how was everyone's week uh this was a long break that we had from each other because uh i had to go back to philly and taylor uh was away in miami and florida visiting family and now he's back i'm back we both got back today in new york uh so we're very happy to be back Ho there will be probably another stream this weekend uh, and then one for sure Monday night, we're doing trivia night. Uh, so check it out. Usually we do Tuesday nights, but this week it'll be Monday night because we're always moving. Then Taylor has a boat show in Atlantic City. Um, so if you want to go visit him at the boat show in Atlantic City, he'll be there. Um, click here. I'm writing on Instagram. Okay, guys. So, yo. Nick Roebuck, guys. I think we. I think it's time for us to get in it. Taylor's gonna play pool with John and Natalie. Huh? What? Oh, uh, what? I don't even know what y'all are talking about. Okay. Um, ah, oh, Jax. Not at all. Jax, thank you so much for using your I prime sub cake, on us. All. We love you, Jax. Um, I hope that you'll be at trivia on Monday night. Uh, we missed you last. Well, not last week because we didn't do it this week, but we missed you the week before. <laughs> uh, so I'm excited to have you back. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn off this music so that just in case we get flagged, I don't want it to ruin any of our stuff. Um, cut the music. Okay, um, it is now. Oh shoot! <laughs> what? Chi! I have so many people to thank, first of all. Chi, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Rad. That is amazing. That means that we have two subs, uh, and every five subs, Nick Roebuck and I will spin that wheel and we will be doing a dare for you guys that you guys will be able to vote on who did it better. And like, if you guys aren't voting for me, you'll be in trouble. But anyway, um, okay. So without further ado, okay, um, another, another sub. Thank you. That's three. Oh, snap. So many people Thank you, Rad, for the sub. Justice for James Lake. Okay, guys, I got to get a video. Ready, set, go. Nick Roebuck. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how cute he is. I mean, handsome, sexy, all the things that men want to be called. <laughs> 
Isn't cute the best compliment coming from me, though? Like, that's how, you know, that's like the biggest compliment coming from me. I think that cute is the ultimate thing. Yeah, if you're a puppy dog and... <laughs> Yeah, if you're, a, if you're a puppy. Yo, we are on a huge hype trade. Uh, Grant just subbed for, uh, oh my gosh, thank you for resubbing, Grant. I know Nick Nick is on Discord uh, video with us right now, so he doesn't see any of the stuff that's going on with the chat. So I'm going to have to let him know Sorry, guys. everything that's going on. Um, everybody's <laughs> subbing because they want us to spin that wheel. So that's amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chi gifted 10 subs. Holy shit. I'm sorry, cursing. See, Nick was like, is it okay if I curse on here? I was like, yeah, you totally can. I try not to, but, and apparently I don't try hard enough. Um, Holy moly, Nick is popular, is right. That was 10 subs from Chi. Chi, how many subs are we at now? That means you and I, Nick, have to spin the wheel. Uh -oh. That's twice already. We have to spin that wheel. We got to spin that wheel. I'm going to ask you um, a couple of questions and then we're going to like do all the win all the wheel spinning. So let me, Okay. I, I have a pad of paper over there and I just want to be able to write down and make a note of everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. So unprepared. So Nick. unprepared. What? I said so unprepared. So unprepared. So unprofessional. Nick, didn't I say, I was like, if, if they if they sub, then you'll be spinning the wheel. We might not even spin the wheel. And now there are like three wheel spins we have to do by now. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Uh yeah, they're all going. Oh my god, Kristen is always disorganized. Nick doesn't even know. Nick knows, okay? Nick lived with me. Oh, no. Nick, how long did you live with me for? Um, for a couple for like two months, I think, right? I think so too. Um yeah, because yeah, so all right, we'll get to all that later, okay? Let's start off with, I'm gonna ask you like the simple, the, the most interviewee interview questions to start Do it. off with. I'm ready. And then we'll get funnier and funnier as it goes along. Okay, that okay. sounds good. So Nick Roebuck, where were you born? Where are you from? And tell us all about it. <laughs> um, so I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I grew up there. Um, and when I went to college, I moved to Los Angeles to go to USC. And I got my degree in acting from there. And right after I graduated was when I got one life to live. One life to live. <laughs> now, how do you think like Indiana like shaped you as a person? Do you think that you were totally. different because you come from Indiana specifically? Um, yeah, I think in a number of ways. One, you know, people in the Midwest are really polite. Uh, I was just there for a week last week visiting family. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, everybody says excuse me and please and thank you. And there's just this Midwestern hospitality. And, so where uh, – so you think that you have that? <laughs> I mean, I used to. If I don't anymore, no, I you do, to. you do. You are. You're always like – you're always like, yes. And you speak – you speak uh, very properly and <laughs> – and you uh you have a lot of manners thank you i appreciate yes. that and then yes. also <laughs> um indiana is this weird state where mm -hmm. if they're gonna like roll out a new fast food chain they uh -huh. roll it out in indianapolis first to see Ooh. how it forms so i would love that, that yeah you'd love it for a week and then you go my like, is there anything else to eat here so that's why i'm like a health nut and i drink this much water every day and because you ate all that crap temple. when you were younger yes yeah what was your favorite little like fast, well, oh little debbies oh you oh, went yeah, were you were favorite. like fast fast food well yeah all the crap you know all the junk cereal and little debbies and hostess and well that's what you're supposed to, to do like, when you're McDonald's younger happy meal Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You you did it, and now you're just making up for it. And I feel like also the older you get, the more you're like, I don't care if I eat the same crap over and over again. Like, it, it, as long as it's healthy, it makes me feel good. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wait. We have a couple. So Grant gifted five subs. Thank you so much, Grant. So that's another wheel spin. Thank you. Uh, okay. Then Rad gifted a sub. Thank you, Rad. Then Dottie subscribed for a month. Thank you, Dottie. Really quickly, before we move on, y'all. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the stream, uh, I think, died for a second, but it came back. Um, before we move on, 
Nick Roebuck, can I ask you to help me sing happy birthday to Dottie? It is Dottie's birthday. She has yes. run my fan website ever since, like for years and years and years. Um, okay. And she is such a big fan. Oh my God. Anonymous just gifted, anonymous, uh, an anonymous person gifted five subs. Holy crap. Thank you wow. so much. That's like six spins now. Wow. We're going to be spinning We're all night. Be, yeah. Yeah. I better stop asking you these questions. Holy crap. Um, okay. Ready? Let's yep. sing for Dottie. Yep. Ready? Set. Yeah. Wait. Taylor? Yeah. <laughs> Would you come and say happy birthday for Dottie? It's yeah. Dottie's birthday. T Taylor's like unpacking Dottie. every. It's Dottie's birthday. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daughter. Happy birthday. Dottie, happy birthday. It's her birthday this weekend, um, and she's she's the best. And we're on a hype train level four, Taylor. Uh, usually, we sing our hype train song. Nick, this is how our hype train song goes. Ready? It goes, hype train, come on through. Come on through. We want to hype with you. I said, hype train, come on through. Hop aboard the hype train crew. Do, do, do. Hype train level one, level one. Yeah, we're having fun. No, I'll do it really quick because we got we have a lot of spins. Hype train level one. Will we get to level two? Wait, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor was like, I have so much to do when we get home. And now he's like, wait, we're on a hype train. Let me grab the guitar. I gotta go to the grocery store. <laughs> I gotta go to the grocery store, but let me grab the guitar. Okay, real quick. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. Nick, I wish I should have sent you the lyrics so you could sing along. No, right? Again, I'm prepared. Just just drink your just drink your healthy drink <laughs> and dance along. Okay. But but and I already did hype train level one, so we'll do hype train level oh, two. No, I gotta take it up. Yeah, take it up. Okay. Hype train level two. Level two, we love hyping with you. I said hop train level two. Will we get to level three? Nick, you know how I always used to count like this? One, two, three. Who counts like this? <laughs> Who counts like this? <laughs> One, two, three. I'm not Five, shocked. six, seven, eight. Hop train level three. Level three, yeah, we're happy. Let's sing the level four part. <laughs> hop train level four. Level four, can we do one more? I said hop train level four. We we get to level five. And we did it, so now we're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Nick, I love you. Okay. Oh, Nick. You. So yes. you ate all the fast food in Indiana, um, and it. now you're eating super healthy, and you like have all of these restrictions right because you have like these allergies to food and stuff nick has yeah, a very kinda. yeah everybody has heard about my like acid reflux diet saga yeah. and stuff <laughs> so i used to have really bad acid reflux and i saw this um korean constitution doctor it's called eight constitution medicine and mm. i used to get this weird eczema on the palms of my hands it was really painful and it would like hurt to grab things and no one could figure out what it was mm -hmm. and um so I had heard about this doctor and I went and he was like, you know, you're eating a lot of the things that your body isn't made up to process. And every person is one of these eight constitutions, right? So yeah. um, I can eat like beef and pork and root vegetables and dairy and pasta and bread and all that good stuff. It's, you know, so I have to leave out like poultry, seafood. I can't eat salads, no leafy greens, nothing like that crazy but you don't crave yeah. leafy greens because like if you're not like some people crave it yeah you know i never did but i would always like make myself eat a salad or something like that. right right you know i crave meat though and i have always even when i like wasn't eating it for two years and you're um, good with meat so that's good good with me yeah okay oh so you're just a meaty meaty man <laughs> i am 
Um, you know so, it. <laughs> someone uh, asked, I know it's kind of out of order with our questions, but Louis PNA asked, uh, I meant, uh, do you keep in touch with David Gregory and Lenny Platt, the Ford yeah, brothers? I, you or me? You. I do. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm really close with David still. Uh, Lenny and I um, have a good relationship, but it's a little more um, sporadic. <laughs> uh, yeah, David and I keep in touch. Actually, David lived in LA for a while, and I owned a company. I took a break from acting, and I owned a company. Yes. And David worked for it for a little while, so he used to work with for me um, for a while. So that was really fun having him come to work with me every day. Oh, good, good. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring it. <laughs> Taylor just wrote on a notepad. He's like, "Where's Indy's food bowl?" I was like, "Oh, I forgot." <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so you grow up in Indiana, you graduate. Okay, did you have... How many times have you said that? Sorry. I know, I sorry. But you keep... I do... So you grew up in Indiana. I know, I said it a lot. <laughs> Taylor, I'm not... It's not my first, like, thing that I'm good at. I'm not great at You're doing interviews. It's, it's adorable. I oh, thank you. you He's making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, so, to backtrack again. Um, I almost freaking said it. Why do I keep going to say it? So, so <laughs> was One Life to Live your first acting gig? And if not, what was? It wasn't. Okay. So, yeah, I, um, my, like, my very, very, very first one was a commercial for a casino in California. Okay. Yeah. Aguas Calientes. And I never saw it. <laughs> I don't know who saw it or You've what, never seen it like, to this day? No. What and was then, what was the set like? Was it at a casino? We went to the casino. Okay. Um, they had this like wardrobe and makeup in like a big conference room, you know, in the casino. Mm -hmm. And then they would like they're like, okay, you five sit at the blackjack table. Okay, now you're winning and you're excited and just <laughs> keep being excited and you just you know got blackjack or whatever you know. And they're like, okay, more more excitement and all day long, just like. <gasps> sitting at the craps table or the blackjack table or, you know, pulling the slot machines. And then we went to a nightclub and had dinner. So it was like everything you can do at a casino that is doing a whole day. Well, were the people um, that you worked with at least fun? Like, were you having a fun oh, yeah. day? Okay, good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. You know, it was young people. Uh, I was probably the youngest. I was kind of surprised that I booked it. But um, you're like, I'm not even 21. No, you're I think just... in the audition, actually, <laughs> we were like, okay, celebrate. And I think at one point I went, yeah, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, I probably. Yeah, like you'll I lost put music it. over that, right? Or yeah, you'll be able to dub me. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, um, that was my first job, and then I did iCarly on Nickelodeon. Oh my gosh! Um, All right, tell us about that. How was Miranda? Okay, Crossgrove. So I had like five auditions that day and I was like really overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do a good job? How am I gonna get to all of them driving mm -hmm. around LA, you know? And so iCarly, they were like, okay, we want you to like um, show us a $5 bill and smile about it and then scoop some ice cream and then smile about it. And then I was like, just a little, little, little and smiling. And I was like, okay, bye, I gotta get to the next one. <laughs> and then my agent calls me on my way to the next job. He's like, they loved you. They're, they're booking you already. I'm like, oh my God, okay, I've got three more to do. So um, that was my first like TV job. So that was really, really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then was I got Crafties to like crazy? Part. Like was everything super, like did they have a lot of, could you tell that the set had a lot of money? Like were you treated crazy well? Were you in like a. No. no? I wouldn't say that. You I didn't mean, have it, like it, a cool it, well, dressing room? Was... Well, no. I mean, it was my first dressing room. It was really small. It was smaller than my, this office. And it was at the Nickelodeon Studios on, on I think it's on Sunset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really east in LA. Yeah. And, um, I hung out there and uh, I hate shaving and I thought that they would be able to like cover up just a smidge of stubble with makeup mm -hmm. and they did my makeup and they were like, no, you've got to go shave. And I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, so I like go up to the, you know, the dressing room and there's mm -hmm. no hot water. So I'm like <gasps> shaving with cold water. It was awful. And then the, the shooting was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, Miranda Cosgrove was really nice. My scene was with her and, um, you know, they have an audience and you like move sets. It's like yeah. this big, long, you know, on the, on the studio floor, it's this big, long thing of sets. And you go from like one to the next to the next to the next. And, this, mm -hmm. and the audience follows you and 
they clap and they're like, oh yeah, oh, funny, and laugh and all that stuff. So it was a really neat experience. But I left like being really excited, but also like, oh, I wish I had a bigger part and I just want to be on TV and you know, that whole bit. So But yeah. you manifested being a bigger part and being on TV. So look at that. I did. Because then oh you God. then you got Nick. Okay, what I have to say, what I wanted to say earlier with um, the forcing yourself to like seem like you're laughing and stuff, I thought about when we went to see a live taping of Man with a Plan. Oh God. <laughs> so for anyone, I don't know if you guys know the show Man with a Plan um, with the guy who played Joe. What's his name? Matthew Perry? LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Thank, thank yeah. you. I mixed both their names. Um Matt LeBlanc, and he was like the star of it. And Brittany's uh, boyfriend, uh, Brittany Underwood's boyfriend at the time, worked on the show. He was like a P, an AD or whatever. So he he said, "Oh, I could get you guys in the studio." So me, Nick, and Brittany are like, "Okay, we love just like having random things to do." <laughs> so we go into the audience, and I've never been to a live. Was that your first? Other than I, Carly? Okay. It was like, my first. Yeah. I've never been to a live taping, and so. So we're all sitting there and they're going, all right, guys, so you need to laugh at everything. Um, you need to like laugh as hard as you've ever laughed. And you're going to get um, a pack of Oreos if you laugh the hardest or like a gift card. They would literally bribe you to laugh the hardest. Nick and I was crying laughing from Nick fake laughing. First of all, you're there for so long and you're so oh. hungry. And so Nick was like, I'm getting those fucking Oreos. And Nick was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, those are so angry. <laughs> so angry. Because we're like, where's oh the gosh. food? Oh, my God. It was the funniest. But, but to force laugh, that is, I always think of you with forced laughter. And hours. Like, for hours. We were hours. Forced. And then the guy had me juggle. Remember, he's like, can you juggle? And I'm like, oh, yeah. uh, sure. You were like the entertainment for the audience. <laughs> In between takes, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, Sage just said, "Oh my god, my crush Nick." <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, oh shoot, uh, Sage, you got some kisses from Nick. Oh snap. Um, okay, so what was your audition process like for One Life to Live? Um, yeah, what was yeah. your audition process like? Also, I, I had I had gotten the audition for One Life to Live, which was my first time getting it. I had auditioned for other soaps, and I had never even gotten a call back, even oh, though I... you did Young and the Restless, it said on IMDb? Yeah, so I did... It was equivalent of, like, background work. Okay. Um, I have a lot of friends who are still on and were on the show then. They were like, hey, you know, come hang out with the sisters Oh, the twins, the you come right? No. Well, they are twins, but... Thad was the only one who was. Thad was the actor. only one on it. Yeah, yeah. Thad, Amelia, Josh Morrow, um, who else? Uh, Mike Grazade. So I knew all these people that were on the show, and they mm -hmm. were like, you know, just do it. It's fun. You know, you make some money and do this background work. But it like taught yeah. me how to be on set and do a soap, right? Right. So I had done that, and actually, I was doing that when I got the audition for One Life to Live, and I was like, oh, I've never auditioned for this show, and something inside just was really excited. It felt different. I was like. I don't know. I feel like really good about this. So I read with Amelia and I read with that and I was just trying to like read with as many people. I'm like, what do you think? Is it Aww. soapy? Like, is there a soap thing? And they're like, no, no, no. Some people do that. Just be you and, you know, read it with the emotion. They're like, you're doing a great job. So I was just really excited. So I read for the casting director and they put you on tape in the office, right? And they sent it to the, they, no, no, no. It was first. And then they called me back to come was back it Mark to the office Teshner? to tape for the producer. Was it Mark Teshner? Oh my Teshner God, I got a call back. Yeah. Yeah. So they send that in, right? Mm -hmm. I thought that I'd hear that I book, you know, I'm expecting to book it at this point. And then I get a call from my agent, maybe that day or the next day. And they're like, hey, they saw your tape and they want to fly you to New York to screen test. And I was like, no. <laughs> I, was like, I was like walking around. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, a fucking screen test. I've never done a screen test before. And like, how many people are going to be there? And like, how many guys am I going oh to against? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. So I called Thad and I was like, hey, you know, what is this like? And he's like, oh man, when I did YNR, it was only like me and two other guys. It'll be a real small group. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. So, you know, they fly me out. Oh, and they send you a whole new audition. And I think, I probably shouldn't say this. I think I got it a day before everybody else. 
Oh, snap. Pink. I know. Um, so I got it the night that I was flying out, and I'm, like, working on it the whole night that I'm flying, and the screen yes. test is the next day. So um, we go, and I think I'm one of the first people there, and then, like, guy after guy after guy. I'm like, there were, like, eight guys. Oh, my God. How many of us <laughs> are there? There was, like, eight Yeah, guy. I'm there like, were, like, eight. And two. And, you know, I'm like, I'm like, all right, just stay focused. And I just keep, like... I'm journaling about the character and I'm thinking about the scene. I just, I don't look up. I don't talk to any of them. You know, mm-hmm. they're all having their own conversation. I was like hyper-focused. And then we go up to set and Frank, the executive producer, shows us all the blocking. It was lunchtime. It was most... like lunchtime blocking. I yeah. remember because I, I was at yes. blocking with, yeah. Um. So then uh, afterward, you know, we're kind of on the studio floor, kind of hanging out around the set. And I remember... Kristen's mom, Kathy, comes up to me and she's like, hi, honey, how are you? How are you feeling? And I'm like, oh, my God, Star's mom. And, <laughs> Star's know, mom. So cool, but I'm so nervous. And, uh, I'm like, I'm doing pretty well. She was like, well, we think you're really cute. And I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, so that helped. Yeah. Um, and then they had all the actors go down, but I stayed up. I was like, nope, I'm staying up here because I'm going to run these lines with the blocking. So I'm not even thinking about it. Right. Right. And then they call everybody back up to set. And Frank's like, oh, Nick Roebuck's up here. We're doing Nick first. And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't think I'm to go first. You know? And he was like, no, we're doing you. And I'm like, oh, he's here. Doing? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Already. So I, oh, my gosh, I remember you came up and you were so sweet. But I was so nervous. I kept forgetting all the lines. I kept having to, like, look at the page. Like, oh, my God, what's the first line? I'm like, Wait, what is it again? You know? And it was just all these nerves. And you were really sweet. You were like, you're doing a great job. And, you know, we're supposed to, like, look right at each other. And um, Yeah, like the vis-a-vis no, so thing I that I was like, oh, vis-a-vis is when you have to, like, stay in a line. So, like, don't deviate. Like, we'll just stay together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, which was so helpful. It felt, it felt good to kind of be taken care of in that situation where it's just so nerve-wracking. Yeah. And then there was this kiss, right? I'm supposed to, like, grab Star and kiss her. And I'm tall. So, I, again, I was really nervous. I'm like, oh, my God, that just so, hey, pled- Kristen, I'm going to, like, kiss your top lip so I don't have to, like, get down, you know? And she's like, uh, okay. And I'm like, Yeah, he told oh, me that for, before we filmed. He was like, yeah, so I'm going to kiss your top lip. I was like, okay. I, was like, we like, I didn't uh, know you pick a lip when you kiss. I was like, okay. <laughs> you picked a lip. Hey, everything had to be planned out or I'd forget it. So, yeah. Um... You picked yeah, the they, lip. They, it went really well. <laughs> and well, then they told all the guys, like, you only get one shot. Like, we're only doing it one time. But yeah. then, doing me over and over, and somebody would come down from, like, the, the whatchamacallit, the, where they uh, listen. The booth, the yeah. Producer box or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the booth. And then, they're like, okay, like, that was great. Now try it like this. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm getting feedback. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. Four takes. And I was just high as a kite. Like, Aww. I felt so good. And I was like, you know, it, it felt like I was going to get it. And yeah. You were by far the just favorite. Felt so good. Yes. Like, going Aww, into it, you. everyone was saying that you were the favorite. But in the past, anytime I would say who my favorite was, they would always pick the opposite. So I was like, like sealed lips. Like, like they're like, oh, who is yeah. your favorite? I was yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. They were all good. I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Your like favorite. guys, guys were like walking off, off, like off the set in the middle of the scene. I remember that bunch of guys that you were with was like, "What are these guys doing?" Like the one, the one literally went to like romantic. They were like, "This is a romantic kiss, right?" And the one, just like he was like. Okay, but I forget what the line was or whatever, but it was supposed to be like, wow, you're so beautiful and lean in and kiss. And he was like, wow, you're so beautiful. And then like ran. And I was like, oh, like it was like so abrupt. No. And you're and it's so interesting being the person to audition the other people because you feel their nerves. So you're nervous, too, because you're supposed to be the professional and you're supposed to be like the one that like has it down. That's like killing it. You know what I mean? And then you're feeling their, their nervousness 
And then you have to be prepared for whatever they do, like them not hitting their mark and then just like giving you a random like kiss out of nowhere, like way too fast. And you're like, huh? Um, it is, it's crazy. It's, but, uh, but you were by far the best Didn't and I, like, just incredible. Reach. Thank you. Did, did, wasn't there a guy who like, cause there's, you're supposed to like gently grab you and the guy went, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> so there was the guy that went like, Mwah. and then there was the guy that, yes like swung they were like oh and then you could gent yes gently touch her cheek and then kiss her he like gently touched my cheek took my neck and pulled it as hard as he could <laughs> and was like i was like ow oh my god oh my god but then you're like having to stay in the scene so it, yeah it was i had a lot of horror stories from that set of guys and then they're like hey like everyone else would be like they kiss your ass because they think that they'll get the part if they're like flirting with you or something. So they yeah. would be like, Hey, uh, Kristen, do you want to run that? he like, this one guy stood in front of me while I was getting my hair done. And he was like, Hey, so like, you want to run lines in the dressing room in a little bit? And I was like, Oh, we can run them here. And he's like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Wait, let me just go get my script. We yeah. both know who this is, right? But we know who this is, but yes. Who, Britney's still friends with them. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Britney's friends with them. Oh my god. I think Britney wow. liked I think Britney liked him at one point. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just no. And I was like, Britney, that's that guy. <laughs> Britney, that's that guy. She's like, oh my god, he's so much better now though. <laughs> so and then Britney and I screen tested with him for <laughs> Win Calls the Heart for Hallmark. Oh. But he oh wow. my god. Yeah, dude. Crazy. Um, yep. hi, Christy. Hi. Uh, hi, everyone. Okay, so we have more questions. A lot of people are asking questions in the chat as well. Um, so what was your first day like? So you get the role. And you have your first scene. I mean, well, actually, our first me our first hangout happened before your first scene. It did. So it did. <laughs> oh, my God, you always make fun of me. But I was wearing California <laughs> clothes. They were California clothes in New York. So, yeah, I get that it looked weird, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Nick, like... so Nick was going to start on the show. And I think, like, what, did you text me or, like, I texted you or something? Yeah, I wanted, you know, I wanted us to kind of get a rapport since we were going to be shooting so much very quickly together. Oh, and my God. I Nick, think, Nick, you wanted to go to lunch. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go to lunch and so or yeah we wanted to like meet before working together and uh and I was so excited that you got it because you were the best and then um and so and I was also like single at the time so I'm like oh my god and I'm notorious for like dating <laughs> so embarrassing but like I'm I was young okay so I'm like oh my god this new cute guy I'm working with like oh, we're gonna go to lunch like oh my god and so uh so I met up with him. Possibilities. Possibilities. <laughs> and then I met up with you, and you were in Capri, like, uh, in like. No, 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 no. They weren't Capris. They were. They weren't even long shorts. They were shorter shorts. They were just kind of tight. Like short, tight shorts, and like a fedora, but like a beachy fedora. And I was like, I don't think he likes girls. <laughs> like, oh. Wow. But I didn't know. I didn't know. And then, yeah, but I don't know how much you want to, like, dive into that. But, like, it was very funny that, um, that yeah, we went to lunch, and then he was like, I'm married. And I was like, oh, my gosh, awesome. Then I, like, called my mom from the bathroom, and I'm like, he's married. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the funny thing, too, was when I saw you, I saw you, like, <laughs> look me up and down, and then I just started sweating. And I'm like, oh, God, I know what I look like right now. It was cold in Manhattan. It was April. Uh, but literally, like, thus started the most incredible friendship. I mean, you and I have always remained, like, best friends. And I think that also um, a best friend and such a, like, great friend like you and I are, we have not lived in the same state for a really long time. I mean, after One Life to Live, I, I did move out there and we spent a lot of time together out in L.A., but then... Um, when I moved back, I feel like no matter how long we don't see each other for, we pick up like that. Like our our friendship has never like 
like gotten less. Like I, I don't think I'm less close to you than when I would see you all the time. I if agree. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've come to New York and Vegas to see you, and you've come yeah. out here, and it's yeah. I have well, actually, I haven't. I I'm a shitty friend in that way. I've come out to L.A., <laughs> no, but like I haven't here. come to Laguna. Like I need to make yeah. a Laguna trip. You have to hold me accountable. <laughs> he's come Next to trip. Vegas to see me. He has to come see the show. Um, he's very supportive, but I love you. Um, but yeah, so Nick would come home with us to Pennsylvania on the weekends sometimes. Um, you've been there for like family parties and then, yeah. um, and then it was what in between like when the show got canceled, right? Is when you moved in with us. Yeah, because I had my apartment, right? And yeah. I didn't want to sign a new lease, so I just let the it show go. Was and there yeah. was still two months left. Yeah, so I was like, could I live with you guys for a little while? Your mom was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, you just have to sleep on Eddie's top bunk, but... <laughs> top bunk! <laughs> Nick literally slept in, on the top bunk for two months. But, oh my God, live, it, you living with us was like the most fun time. Ever. Oh my God, because Nick is like so dirty like when we like sing dirty songs all the time so like, we turn like party in the usa to party in the girl private part <laughs> like we get we're so gross um yeah. so we look really innocent but uh <laughs> but yeah we've had some crazy times um okay so oh so your first so then what what was your first day like on life to live so my first day actually my first first and only scene was with David Gregory and I had this idea about who he was mm -hmm. I was really nervous because I thought he was going to be this like douchey like self-absorbed self yeah, yeah prick and he was so sweet he's and literally he the sweetest human on the planet yeah and he was asleep in a hospital bed and it was this emotional scene it was the first time I had seen the mm -hmm. character I had seen his brother mm -hmm. James had seen Bobby in years, so it was emotional, and it was, I'm like, oh my god, my first freaking day, you know? And I felt like I knocked out of the park, and David was like, dude, that was awesome, and um, so that was my first day. It was really nerve-wracking, and I was there for all of, I don't know, two hours. <laughs> and then cut to the second week, when we had 60 pages of dialogue Was that when we went, day. We it was Princeton, right? That was, like, kind of our first time working together, or... No. No, it was. It oh, was it was the in scenes in the school? cabin. Oh, in the, the cabin. Cabin. Yeah, where it's like um, I was talking about calling the police because we had, we didn't know each other as characters yet, and right. oh, that was rough. And I knew it all, and then I would come to set, and there was just so much. And there was a point where I like I forgot a line, no big deal. But then I was like, I forgot it, and then I don't know it. And you're like, it's okay, this happens to everyone and I'm like no really I don't remember anything and I'm like where's the script and it took like a minute to get through this whole scene because we kept having to start over and over and I just felt awful and I went oh. home and I was like just crying and I thought I was gonna get fired no oh my gosh <laughs> I know no you were you were awesome especially I think that everyone has a crash course in being on a soap so like because of all the dialogue and all the things and then Geez, with that on location stuff that we filmed, I mean, we had 40 scenes a day on location Insane. in the middle of no, like that was crazy. Yeah. Stealing cars, like stealing taking cars. Doing yeah. Stuff out. yeah. It was a lot. It was so Being much. in parks in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like crazy. So what, what would you say was like your favorite scene that you've had on, on One Life to Live? Do you, does, do you have like a standout scene? Um, well, I think we talked about it before. The scenes that I, the two times that I felt like I loved my performance were one with, um, Barrett who played as Bob Baz, or Baz. Yeah. And I was just so in it and he was wearing this goofy fedora. <laughs> I started ad libbing and I think it's off you because uh, uh, you could feel the real tension and <gasps> I don't know you stole my little baby brother, you big fat like, head. Hey, James, and I was like, hey, nice hat. And then you were like, oh, <laughs> shit. And I was like, yeah, so I'm like getting this. And then <laughs> the ones in Dorian's pool house at the end yes. when Star goes back to Cole. And we talked about that before. You were hanging oh out with- Oh my God, with, I loved uh, a Van. 
Japan. Yes. Yeah. And you know, we were always so close, but when he came on the show, you guys were bonding over like Broadway and singing and stuff. And I kind of <laughs> like, all left out. And uh, so I was like, so he hated it. him in real like, life. Yeah. Fans taking her away from me. And I was like reading the lines and he just kept thinking about it. And when we went to set, I was just so full of it. Kristen was like, oh my God, are you it okay? Was, and I was like, yes. Oh my gosh, watch those scenes back and think that Nick is like actually like feeling Nick emotions as well. It They're really was. incredible scenes. That I re- like you. I was shaking on set because it like that whole storyline was really crazy and so well written. And like So they did a great job. You with that. have this like Star and James had this whole relationship and she had to move on from him because he was going to prison and then all of a sudden he breaks out and he's like I love you and kisses her and she's like oh my god I'm so confused and then James walks in and she's like no I love you James and it was like oh it was crazy yeah really but well I remember done, well physically written. shaking on set and yeah. like we were all in it yes it was all aw- those, those are the best like feeling scenes yeah, you go home feeling like proud of the work you did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Taylor's mom said, I got to run. Have a great stream. Love everyone. And I'm Nick's new adopted mom. So <laughs> you have another mom. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Christy, Nick is is so much like they are so much like how much did you and Taylor bond when you first met? We're like, this. they're like this. I think like it was like an hour into meeting and you guys were like, oh, yeah, we're we clicked. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, this. definitely. Oh, thank God. Thank Aesthetic. God. That meant so much to me. <laughs> um, Brandon is the real Cole. Yeah, I know. But Van had like, Van had a very hard job to like, just come he in did. and have to like play someone that there was four years worth of story behind. Yeah. Um, and I don't think he had done a lot of TV. He's like a Broadway no. guy. So that was, he was, that was hard. <laughs> Stepped and, into some big shoes. You yeah. Know? And that whole week was yeah. so emotional. Like we were all crying because the show was ending. And so it was just like, that was rough. He That's did a, a good job like with that. Cause that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, Nick, did you keep any James props from one life to live? Um, Kristen, you know how many James props I kept? Just a whole wardrobe. <laughs> Actually, He's a I thief. still have some of the pieces. <laughs> I still have the still leather jacket. I still wear the belts. Oh you my do? God. I wear my star leather jacket all the time, too. You know that blue one? You've seen it like a million yes. trillion times. Dude, I, I love my star clothes. I love that you've kept yours. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, because they were like, just come in and like grab a bin. <laughs> Push, yeah oh they were they were like and then and then in um <laughs> mine and bobby's or james and bobby's apartment there was this little like plastic like sock'em rock'em uh robot thing mm-hmm. and i took it and i kept it from our from that's our... cool do you still have it oh yeah oh my god that's that's a really cool one because that's like a vintage yeah. toy yeah oh oh that's my god nick you know what i just thought of that time where it was like the the ongoing joke was that Star and James could never be alone to like have their first time. And never. Nick and I had this scene and I had to like jump into your arms, remember? <laughs> yes. So I had to like jump into his arms and we had to like be like making out. And I we were driver we were in driver rehearsal. And so Frank, I think Frank was directing us that day. He would like direct every once in a while. And he was like, okay, so Kristen, you're going to be in his arms. So she, he was like, for now, just like, go ahead, jump, like get in his arms. And then we'll, we'll go over the direction of where we're going. I was like, okay. So I like, in, I was like, oh, okay. Instead of directly jumping onto Nick, I decided to take like the side of the ottoman that was on set. It was like a prop. And I put my foot down and put all the weight and like jumped up. And then the thing flipped onto its side do you remember that nick i do yeah it like flipped onto the side and then i landed on my side on the i had the biggest bruise ever huge huge Huge. but it was so funny because i was like i'm good it's all good it's all (sighs) it looked like this on your leg it did it was like black black but nick laughed so hard (laughs) well i didn't know you were that hurt i just kind of thought it was a silly flub and 
Well, you Nick also like your like favorite show back then was Wipeout. Like you love people getting hurt yes. humor. Yes. <laughs> Still do. Still do. <laughs> so even if you like tell Nick like a story like, oh my God, and then I slipped in front of everyone, he's like keeled over hysterical. <laughs> he's like, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Show me. Show me. Um Okay, so we have like so hold on. Let me see what other questions I have for you. Um okay. gosh, I I feel so I feel like I'm holding you for too long, Nick. Let me know if you have to when you have to go. No, that's, no, no we're good. Okay, okay. Um okay, so you and I used to have a vlog when we were on One Life to Live. It lasted like two vlogs. <laughs> Twice, yeah. Twice. Um, and because Nick and I would always go see movies together. So we're like, let's talk about movies or whatever's going on. So the one we talk about movie, I just watched it today. Um, and then the second one, we talked about Valentine's Day. And then we just never did a vlog again. But my point is, <laughs> which sounds like oh, me, I just delay. start something and we're like, this is going to be a thing. And then we just don't do it. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so we were talking back then about we had seen Conviction. Um, we were talking about Black Swan. We were talking about yeah. like all these movies. So what is like your favorite movie that you have seen in the past like two years or so? Two. Um, hands down, it was Dune. Dune? Dune, yeah. Okay. The uh, Denis Villeneuve movie. With I haven't Tim seen Tim it, Tommy. but Taylor oh. saw it in IMAX and he said it was incredible. Like it, it was. It was. It wasn't that it was like oh, the acting was incredible, but it wasn't because of that. It was the sounds, the visuals. Like you, it was immersive. You were there with mm. them going on this ride, and it was so powerful and so You got like lost, like lost in the world. Visceral. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was incredible. You know, you get nervous when you're supposed to and scared and excited. Mm. It was just everything. I saw we saw it twice in the theater. Oh wow. Yeah. That's all oh, okay. I have to watch it. Okay. And then runner up, I'd say, is everything everywhere all at once. And I was an early fan. I saw it like the day it came out. And I'm just a big Michelle Yeoh fan and um and Kihei Kwan, of course, from, you know, Raider, or, uh, uh, Indiana Jones and, and the Goonies. Um, mm -hmm. Taylor's oh. laughing because I didn't like it. Oh, of course you didn't. No, no, no. Here's the thing. No, 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 no. Let me come in. No, me don't, come in. Yeah, yes, don't come yes. in. Hang on. No. Let me, let me He's jump in so annoying about Here's this the movie. Thing. Here's the thing. So her whole thing was because you saw it before me, right, with Eddie and Cell, and she had a drink, so she was like a little buzzed. And if she's a little buzz, <laughs> I don't like a movie. That's she'll true. hate the movie. She'll That's hate true. it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been waiting to see this for a long time, and I was like, "This is right up my alley. I'm gonna love this." She watched it, and she's like, "I didn't get it." And I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "It didn't make sense." And I go, "Okay, well, blah, blah. she's like, but you're just gonna like it because I didn't. So whatever." <laughs> so I see it, and I I want to like it, and I do like it, and it did make sense. And she's like. You only liked it because I did First of all, I didn't have a problem with you actually liking it. I had a problem with we're sitting there and all of a sudden he goes, oh, and by the way, everything everywhere made complete sense. And I was like, oh, yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's because we were having like, like not a fight, but we were being ornery. We call it being ornery we get that ornery night. Because like she'll sit there and be like, so you're gonna, you're gonna just do that? Well, <laughs> we just fuck with each other. So it was a fuck with you night and that's what it was but she oh, hates it. Oh, no i don't hate it here's what i said i said that the movie was that the movie was good the end like it, I, I liked all the family stuff i just said for like the first hour i was like what am i watching and i know that the whole point is kind of like that but i was trying to get into what the mood was what the genre was. i didn't get where we were going so I couldn't like fully relax in it. Like she I just was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't my favorite, but I loved the act. The acting was fantastic. I'm happy that they're all winning. Um, but like, just yeah, it, I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a movie review by Kristen. By Alderson. Kristen Alderson. Can I have? Hi, Kristen water? Alderson. Do you know where my water is, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I have my 
I want to play. Kristen on oh, film. Boy. Kristen, that's Kristen on film. Uh, that's probably why we only did like one blog because my reviews are like, I don't know, I didn't get it. Anyway, moving I, on. I told I told Lori the publicist, I'm like, she's <laughs> fucking stupid. She didn't know anything about movies. <laughs> We can't do this Taylor, anymore. I have to show Taylor actually our first blog about movies because it is, I am exactly the same way that I was back then. Because you talk about, you're like, yeah, Kristen has the worst taste in music. I'll be, uh, movies. I'll be like, Kristen, we got to go see this. And she's like, nah, I don't want to. I'm not going to like it. And then, you, and then she leaves sobbing and she loved it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Taylor literally complains about that to this day. It's like, why do you always say like, I'm not going to like it. And then you love it. He's like, I know what you're going to like. Oh, um, Loki? Except for everything. Oh yeah. I did love Loki. I knew she would love Loki. Do you watch Marvel stuff, Nick? Some of it, yeah. I don't love all the Disney Plus series, but I love Mandalorian. Mm. Um, I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Did you guys, did you see Megan? The movie Megan? No, but I honestly, I want, we don't normally see horror, well, we never see horror movies, but Uh that looked like something that is a laugh fest, and I feel like I want to. Yes, yes, I do too. I want to see it too. Um, And I think we're actually going to have like a little sketch in musical about it. Um, with me playing Megan, so nice. I should study up. Um, okay, so let's spin the wheel because we have yeah. six wheel spins to do. Holy bejeebus! Um, and we might we could just go down the list because I think we have like six things to. Okay. Oh, the poem. Okay, so we have to write a little poem. Okay. Um, we'll be timed. We'll each have how long do you think, Taylor? Is the three minutes good? Is that too long? He's not listening. He's listening to the stream, but delayed. <laughs> so he's like oh, okay. all into it watching it. Um, okay, so let's let's give ourselves three minutes. I'm gonna what run the stream about? trailer. Anything I would you can make fun of my movie taste, uh something that's like funny, not funny. I don't even know. I, I've never been on the other side of this wheel spin. I just torture people okay. and make them do it. So, um, <laughs> okay, let's get the countdown on here. Uh, and that's not, okay, yeah. Okay, we're three minutes, go. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Alderson and welcome to the Star Squad. I have been on television my entire life. Well, almost on shows like One Life to Live and General Hospital. And now I'm streaming with you. Join me as I play games, talk soaps, get very competitive with my boyfriend, make parodies, have laugh after laugh with our amazing community, and you can find me dancing with my Emmy Award. Yes, I won an Emmy and now I dance with it on Twitch. Anyway, if you are not convinced at how much fun we have, check out these clips. I'd like to speak to the mods of this channel, please. Oh, wait. Look at the friggin' screen. Nintendo? Don't do that to me, but do it to me, you know? Habanero. <laughs> All right, we have one minute and 15 seconds left.
All right, I think I did it. The winner. I'm the winner. <laughs> You're not the winner. <laughs> winner. All right, you probably are the winner. I have like two lines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would wow. I would attempt to make another line, but I don't I I like would run out of time. OK. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to read our our poems for you and then you guys are going to vote on which one is better. OK. Um, oh, what was that noise? It went bing. Oh, the timer was up. What? Uh, OK. 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 Who should go first? I'll go first because I think mine is. Or no, you you go you go first. Guess first. Guess first. All right, I'll go first. All right, okay. here we go. You ready? Yeah. I love Kristen though she doesn't know the films very well. She is fun and pretty, but laughs like loud cowbell. <laughs> Been friends for a very long time. I bet she's finding it hard to make a rhyme. She can't. <laughs> she can't spell that word either. Kristen, oh Kristen. I miss you. You're bitchin'. You better come to my house the next time you're visiting. Yay! Good job, Nick. That was very long. Mine is very short. It's a haiku. That, yeah, mine's like, oh, Nick, oh, Nick. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, how I love laughing with Nick, though his taste in movies makes me sick. He's funny and witty and never smells shitty. That's it. <laughs> and then I wanted to bump and bump like, and a bump. But we wrote the same things about each other, though. We literally did. Wow. We're so in sync. Wow. Love yeah. you. That was actually a really cute rhyme that you made. A little poem. Thank that was you. so cute. Save it forever. Um, okay, guys. Perfect. Whose poem's better? I mean, I know it's tough competition. <laughs> I really... I really can't see me winning. Uh, Nick, I, I vote for Nick. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to, uh, in the meantime, while they vote on that, I'm going to get the wheel up here again because we have to do this uh, multi pill. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you could do it, put your back into it. <laughs> okay, our next thing is do an impression. Do an impression. Nick Roebuck, do you have okay. an impression <laughs> that you do? Um, yeah, I, I, I like to do, you know, Angela Johnson, the comedian from like Mad TV, and she does the nail salon of the Viet Vietnamese lady. Oh, are you going to get canceled? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I think so. <laughs> Is that okay uh, to yeah. do nowadays? I, I'm like, <laughs> I, uh, what? But Matt TV was in a different time. I don't know if you could do it at Vietnamese impression. No, no, she's a com but she's a comedian still, and it was hers. Okay, good, back. good. So that's what it is, guys. No, can't. Okay, yeah. ready, set, go. Oh, wait, so I go first, and are you doing one? Too oh wait. Just me? Well, I guess we should do the same, the same character. What should, what oh, do you do? know it? What? Um, do I know it? <clears throat> no, yeah. I don't know that character. Yeah. But no, like you do nail. you do your impression because we have like six. Oh, happy nail, Nick! You did this all the time, all back time, in the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um. Okay. So she says. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, honey, how you like? You want pedicure too? It's okay, honey. Only six dollars more. Better for you. <laughs> better for you. <laughs> only six dollars more. You have boyfriend. Honey, that, why you know how? Um, why you know how? <laughs> that is honey. what you was, honey. You said that honey. all the time. Why you have no boy? Do you have no boyfriend? <laughs> you have no boyfriend, honey. Why you know how? <laughs> honey, I saying what you like, crypto jail. It the best thing for your nail, make you shine like diamond in the sky. Only six dollar more, honey. What you like, crypto jail. <laughs> so good. By the way, our poll just ended, and it was 50-50. No way. No way. Come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, that was an incredible impression. Let's spin like the wheel. One. I love it. Let's spin the wheel again. Burner, 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 burner. So pretty like Jelena. Like Jelena. You know what it made me the think of? Thing. It made me think of, um, of 
our hair, our old hairstylist on when I still live. I do good hair. <laughs> do good hair. I do good I hair. Do good hair. Brad gave you an applause on stream. You couldn't thank hear you. it, but thank um, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What the frick does this say? Hold on, some of the the writing is so little. Hey, babe, what the frick? What the frick? Your eyes going cross? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick made fun of me. So years ago, I was I wore glasses all the time before I got um, LASIK, and uh, and oh, sing national anthem. Okay, it's sing the national anthem. That now this is Nick's favorite because <laughs> <laughs> Nick always loved when I would do an impression of Christina Aguilera singing the national anthem, <laughs> right? <laughs> Good. Yes. You do it. You you do it, and then I'll do it. Wait, I gotta do another impression. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Dance monkey. Or sing, just singing. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just the beginning of uh, the of uh, the national anthem with as Christina Aguilera. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> me me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. How would okay. you start it? Mm -hmm. Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> that's what, do it, do that's it, what it, Nick loved. Okay, ready? Oh, my God. In a New York apartment, everyone's going to be like, the fuck? No, they're going to say what you said. Now, who the fuck did that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, once so proudly we held at the twilight. <laughs> but Nick would always like die. He'd be like, "Chris, did do fine." I'd be like, "Bomb, bomb, <laughs> do the bombs bursting." <laughs> I can't do it that. High. I don't think I ever got to that point. <laughs> and the rock. No, there was, what was that thing? She got, she went viral. Thank you. Um, <laughs> she went viral for doing a, um, oh, thank you, babe. <laughs> but, um, God, that wasn't even good. I like didn't even warm up. Um, but it was just. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's so proud? Um. Oh, God, on my side. Stop. Don't bring that up. Everybody say, God, Nick, you've heard my, like, really bad songs that I sang on my voice memos, right? God's telling me that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the stream, <laughs> no, Nick's going to die. So, we, we did a roast. They did a roast of me, like, a couple weeks ago. And, okay. um, and we were talking about like the so was like, have you guys ever heard Kristen's voice memos of the songs that she used to write? <coughs> and Taylor was like, what? No. And I was like, no, 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 guys, we can't, we can't go on there. And I went on and she saw that one of the titles was God's telling me. And she goes, God's okay. telling me. She was like, please play that. Please play that. I don't know what it is, but you have to play it. I was like, no, we can't play it. And then I played it. <laughs> And Nick, I hear it. so I used to like make up songs and then like sing it in my thing so that I would remember it, you know, for my songwriting and that I'm going to be a big yeah. <laughs> star. So this was a uh, God's telling me by Kristen Alderson that I didn't want to forget. Okay. okay. Oh God. It's so cringe. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. God's telling me that it's okay to cry, even though I don't know why. But God's telling me that I gotta go. Oh! <laughs> and God's telling me that I need to grow. And I can't stay here much longer, but I know. Oh. I, I got God on my side. <laughs> that is 2017 Kristen. Uh, you forgot to tell him where you recorded. I it. recorded at the Chicken Pete's bathroom. I was She's working on as a waitress. Wait, 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 w
I thought you were in a closet. Like, I don't want anyone in God's here. telling me that. God's the funniest thing me. about that is that I guess I had that, like, that, that, like, tempo in my head. And then I was like, okay, let me record it. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. And I was like, let me record it um, in the bathroom so I don't forget it, right? Because I'm like, God's telling me that. Whatever. I thought it was really good. God's telling me that. And then I forgot what lyrics I was singing in my head so that I'm just making up shit. So that's why it's like pause. I'm like, God's telling me that I gotta go. It's like, go. You gotta go there. I got to and go I, need, <laughs> I need to grow. Okay, grow rhymes. With, oh. <laughs> it's so We're bad. We're doing God's work here. We're doing God's work. God's telling me that. Um, also makes like, I mean, I'm re- I'm religious, but not like that religious to where I'm like writing like, Christian oh, music. Christian music. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the- I'm going to, I'm going to write Christian music now. Um, okay. So, okay. We talked about favorite storyline. Okay. Video games. Since we're on Twitch, do you play any video games? Um, I play, uh, cruising driving game with my son. You drive him around. <laughs> no, it's on. Uh, There's Nintendo. a game. Oh, oh cruising. Cruising. Yeah. yeah, and they sing this song. It's really funny because you you'd like it. It's they go cruising, and it sounds like they're saying <laughs> losing. <laughs> so you're like driving losing. Yeah. Wow, I, mean, I love it. This is the thing. Right, right, yeah. right. But like you know your character. Is it like cartoon, like little kids? I never heard of the game. No, no, no. It's like, you know, it's like, yeah, you drive in and it's like stunt <laughs> courses and you go fast and you wreck into cars. And mm. Some of it's like police cars and you wreck the police cars off the track because they're trying to chase you down because it's this <laughs> illegal street racing. You know, are you I mean? any good at it? I'm pretty good. I'm a good. <laughs> uh, I don't play a lot of video games. I was really good at like those uh, like um, fighting games. There was one called Tekken. Back a long time ago when PlayStation came out that I was good at. I'm good okay. at like Pac-Man and Okay. Like you're you like a button smasher, like a Yeah. Yeah, you just wanna like press all the buttons. Smash all the buttons just You're a big game don't. night fan though. Like we would have game nights oh, yeah. and stuff. Nick loves yeah, like I board love... games. Yes. And like you remember my mom had like a game night night and she had like physical games for all of us. And we were all like yes. on teams, and there yes. was like uh, I don't even think was it for someone's birthday? Was it for your birthday? I don't know. We, we did c- that couples one. Where yeah, we all were wasted, and then <laughs> the I don't remember. I don't. It might have been my birthday. Yeah, my mom was really. My mom is still really good at like organizing a good game night and cooking and cooking taco nights. For- she would have taco nights all the time in LA. Buffalo had, chicken pizza. You came over our house for Thanksgiving, right? The one year yeah. in LA? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nick is in the fam, y'all. I don't think you even Damn it. Know. Don't you forget Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> don't you forget it. Um, when, when Taylor and I get married one day, Nick is going to be in my bridal party. <laughs> I'm going to be the bride of maid, maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the maid of honor. Who? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Who is the meanest celebrity you've ever met? Do you have like a like a mean celebrity story? I know you do. I do. Um, should I say her name out loud? I think I know who it is. But she, right? is it bad for if I say it? No. Okay. It was Anna Kendrick. Oh, oh, so, oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've actually yeah. told this story for you on stream, so it's not, you're not okay. saying anything new. <laughs> I, yeah, we were at a, a friend's New Year's Eve party. It was like, not a party. It was like they had a young child and we had a young child that we brought. And there were a couple of people there and Anna Kendrick came with her then fiance. Whoa. So I, it was even worse than I thought because I thought it was like a charity event or like a something event. You know, this was just was a at our gathering. friend's house. Yeah. Yeah, wow. At our friend's house. And uh, I, uh, the first thing was she came in and everyone saying hi and introducing who we were. And I shook her hand or something like that. And I was like, oh, I'm Nick. And then she didn't respond. And I was like, and you are? 
you know, it might've been a little shitty of me. She's like, oh, I'm Anna. I'm like, yeah, I don't act like everybody's supposed to know who you are, you know? So right. Like, and then, and then um, she was just really, you know, maybe she is shy because I'm shy and I tend to not talk to people I don't know, but she was really icy, very icy. And she just had some things to say about like, son and I, it was just weird it was weird and she just wasn't nice so i don't right. get the whole nice girl next door facade thing from her i think it's a little phony baloney yeah especially when you're meeting her in that like in, in that setting. intimate of a setting that's yeah. not i thought that you saw her at some sort of event so that's like even crazier you know who is one of the nicest celebrities I've ever i was had? just gonna say the nice who is the nicest jennifer aniston <gasps> you met her? I didn't know you had yeah. a Jennifer Aniston story. Well, she's a friend of ours client, and she was at um, our friend's husband. He does this, like, art. He's an artist, does this art gallery inside their home, and mm -hmm. then all our oh, friend's yeah. clients would come and see. Mm -hmm. And she was there, and I was like, oh, my God, oh. Jennifer. And she's tiny, So short. Tiny. tiny. And, uh... You know, we were talking, we were kind of walking around together, looking at like the pieces of art. And there was this one that looked like somebody had painted, you know, those blinds that you would hang from like sliding doors. Yeah, yeah. It looked like they were blowing in the wind. And she was like, oh, it looks like a pull tab. I could just pull one. And, you know, she was just slappy and really funny and nice and kind. And Aww. yeah, I, I enjoyed meeting her. Oh, my gosh. That's a, I I feel like she would be like that. I always. Yeah thought that she seemed so down to earth and cool and i love that that's yeah. that that's true yeah oh i love that what about, what about you yeah worst yeah, and well, best yeah i always i always say like jennifer aniston yeah yeah well yeah what yeah uh that's my that's as far as my jennifer aniston impression goes <laughs> yeah i was like what are you doing i don't know why you can uh, say <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well i guess it's a really good impression <laughs> he's like you okay yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> Kristen was the nicest celebrity I've met, Grant said. Aw. Aw. Thanks, Grant. She's not nice, though. I don't know why she was nice. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, guys, if people are asking. Clay was like, uh, please don't ask questions repetit <laughs> repetitively. Um, okay. Jennifer Aniston still looks amazing. She does. She's freaking gorgeous. Um, okay. So... Uh, Alexa wants to know where you think James would be right now. Where do you think James ended up? And you, I actually asked um, Nick this the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I think, truthfully, I think he probably started, might still be in Landview. I think he is. Mm -hmm. And I think that he used some of, like, Bobby's life insurance money and started his own garage in Landview. And I think that, like, he tried to have successful relationships and even had a kid out of one of them, but no one, everyone was pale in comparison to Star Manning. Do you think that he went back, maybe Deanna is his baby mama? Do you think he went back to Deanna? I don't even remember what happened to Deanna. <laughs> That's what, Alexa was bringing up Deanna, but I don't remember what happened either. I... I was looking up scenes of us and then it popped up like you making out with her on the couch. And I was like, what? Okay. Like, I don't even remember that story. Like, I know that you were working out with her at the gym. And I think it was when I guess Star and James were like, we're just going to be friends. And then you okay. went back with her. So I don't really Yeah, remember. she like came to town and we had these flashbacks of me working in a garage and she was my girlfriend then and she was kind of getting in between us yeah i it was so quick you it know, was quick we thought that we thought we were welcoming her excuse me welcoming her on to you know our ensemble and it was just lightning speed and the next thing you knew they were like oh yeah she's gone i'm like whirlwind um, yeah so I, I honestly don't remember a ton i don't remember yeah. a ton yeah same same um <laughs> sage no, goes i'm was, still yeah. upset what you don't, don't think, think it was, was Deanna? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because no. that was ancient history. Yeah. All right, Star just wants to make sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you definitely have the bullet necklace, right? So, oh, yes. Still fiddling Still. the bullet necklace? Yep. I always just, you know, <laughs> Nick hated that. Over it. Nick hated that bullet necklace. 
it wasn't so much wearing it, but they always had me like looking at it. And mm-hmm. the thing wasn't long enough for me to like look at so it was like right here in my face and i'm like oh my eyes are crossed and i'm trying to like longingly look at this one you know <laughs> he was like can i not have my eyes crossed all they they had me do the same thing when star got like a locket that like hope locket when hope died so i would always be looking at the locket and i think that ever since i guess the directors were like we really liked having s- someone that looked at things so let's give <laughs> james a, a bullet Marco, we like yeah. that. <laughs> okay, I, I no, we already we already wrote a poem. I'm spinning the wheel again. Why does it, it really want us to write another poem? I'm not doing this. We already did it. We already sang the national anthem. This is, okay, this is a good one. Nick Roebuck, tell your best joke. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Um, I, it's only because I just heard it today. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know that diarrhea is hereditary? It runs in your genes. <laughs> First of all, you heard that on The Last of Us because you were catching up on The Last of Us. I was. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I got your number. <laughs> That was good. Like joke right now. No, oh I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Someone, someone gave you the, uh, the, the, uh, bleh, I can't think. The Price is Right. Uh, burp, 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 <laughs> the losing okay. noise. <laughs> no, that was very good. That was very good. Okay, I'm gonna say one. Eddie texted Taylor today because Taylor knows all the jokes. Uh, that like his job you is stole to stole my tell little baby brother, jokes. you big fat head. <laughs> and. Uh, Okay, so this was my favorite one that Taylor sent to Eddie today. He was like, quick, Taylor, I need a, I need a dad joke. And Taylor sent him like 12. Okay. What kind of bee can never make up his mind? A maybe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love that one. <laughs> It's so cute. No, don't do the losing. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff in the chat wrote the losing horn. Someone please redeem the losing horn so that <laughs> I thought it was good. I actually the one from The Last of Us that they also said um, that was Scarecrow. Taylor and I's favorite was the Scarecrow one. That's always yeah. that's been like my favorite since he started doing the dad joke. Okay. Um, wait, this is a. Uh, Oh, this is another one. Why did the astronaut bring paper, scissors, string, and glue on his trip? He wanted to do spacecrafts. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you said, why did he not bring that stuff? No. Why did he, oh, why did he bring it? Did I read it wrong? I think I, you did. <laughs> So stupid. All right. That got, now that one got the losing horn. That makes sense. Okay. Now, Nick, I'm going to ask you uh, some uh, would you rathers and then we'll, we'll let you go because we have held you captive for okay. <laughs> quite a while. Okay. Okay. Would you rather give up your phone or have to wear Crocs only for the rest of your life? <laughs> Oh so, God. like, you're going to, like, a five-star place crux. Where do... How long am I giving my phone? Forever. Good? Forever. Well, they're both forever. Either they're wear crocs both forever. forever. Or Either crocs phone. forever or give up your phone forever. Oh, my God. I mean, honestly, it's a fantasy to, like, not be so attached to that, but crocs forever? Crocs forever. <laughs> you're known as the croc man. Mr. Croc. Probably Croc. Probably Croc. I couldn't give up my phone either. Uh, I know. It's a tough one. That's a really good one, whoever posed that one. Yeah. I know. I know. Um, Okay. Uh, Would you rather smell like cheese (laughs) that has been left out in the sun or smell like a hamster cage that hasn't been cleaned? Would you rather... (laughs) Oh my god, these are awful. <laughs> I mean, they're hard. 
They are. Would I rather smell like cheese that's been left out in the sun or a dirty hamster cage? Probably a hamster cage. Yeah? Like cheese can smell really, really foul, like in a vomit, gross way. That's true. That's true. I think I could withstand like smelling like wood chips and urine from a hamster cage. You know what I mean? I, I was actually thinking cheese. Because I feel like the hamster thing, like I've smelled like a really gnarly hamster cage and it like starts to like get, drive me insane. I guess I haven't smelled bad cheese in a while too. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe if I got a whiff of both, I'd be like, hamster. (laughs) Aren't they gross? Yes. Um, some of these are so silly. Would you rather eat a wet loaf of bread or drink a pint of whipped fish? <laughs> Ooh, bread. Bread, for sure. There's a jelly bean flavor. They do these things uh, on, on our stream. They have these jelly beans that are like rotten jelly beans, and you don't know what flavor they are. And rotten fish is by far the worst. Like, <laughs> it's so <laughs> foul. It's you do so a lot foul. of throwing up on this thing? Yes. Here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, close to throwing up. So I didn't have you eat nasty jelly beans, so I'm so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, oh, Taylor. Taylor redeemed call my mother. Okay. Well, uh, my mom won't be able to hear him, Taylor. Why would you do that? <laughs> You're so annoying. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to call my mom. <laughs> Oh wait, she's not home. I can't call her. I can't call her, Taylor. She's out. Um or I think she might be. I don't know. She I I I can't call her. <laughs> don't want to call her. I don't want to call her. <laughs> oh, Brad said this was amazing. Thank you so much, Nikki Kristen. I love seeing my canceled TV family anywhere everywhere. That sounds so crazy. I love seeing my canceled family. <laughs> my canceled family. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Sad. Oh, I know. Well, Nick, thank you so much for coming on. Did my you have pleasure, fun? Kristen. I did. I really did. Thank you for having me. And thank you for everyone who tunes in and just all your questions. This was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your impressions and for your singing. I mean, it was beautiful. Thank you. Real quick. Let me know. Real quick. Uh, do you think. Who do you think would laugh first if you and I, because one of the things on the wheel is who can last the longest not laughing. I kind of want to like do that before we go. Okay. Okay. Ready? (laughs) Okay. Ready? Wait, do we just keep straight faces or just no laughing? Straight face. No laughing. So I think we can like kind of egg each other on, but no, no laughing. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to move this. Ready? And it will do it. Will, it'll be for three minutes. If we last the three minutes, then we last. Okay, ready? Wow. So. Okay. Long one. It's a lot of silence. <laughs> That's a lot of silence. I'll start it early. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> ready? Set. Go. I don't even know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Dude, I won. Funny. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I was like so. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's just you just laugh. You just look at my face once and you laugh. I knew I, I would win. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, shit. My my mom called me back. Hold on. I just I'll have her say hello on the street. Hey, can you just, if I put you on speaker, can you say, hi, Nick, and hi, the stream. Nick Robux on the stream. Okay, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Nick. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mama (laughs) Kath. All right. Love you. you. Bye. (laughs) Aw, she was like, she's like, oh, I love him. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, everyone's, okay, let me read, let me read what everyone's saying, because everyone's sending you so much love. Um, Sage said, please bring my crush back. He needs to play Mario Kart with us. Um, well, if you have a switch, maybe, maybe you can, or we'll, we could play like some, um, we could play Mario Kart. Yeah. Mario Kart. Or we could play one of the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the game, 
Babe, what the frick's it called? <clears throat> what are those games called that we play on Fibbage and shit? The box. Yeah, Jack Box games. <laughs> Dude, why do you, he was like he was like it's in a box. He wanted me to guess it. I'm like what? <laughs> um, Jack Box games. Have you ever heard of those? Ever. Oh, Nick, you would love it. So you play it with your phone. And basically, it's like Mad Libs, so you can like add in funny responses oh, yeah. and stuff, and then vote. Okay. So I think that would be like okay. perfect for us to play on stream. Um, yeah, all right, everybody's saying that. thank you so much. No, I didn't have my eyes closed. I was looking at the screen. I have to look down at the screen in order to see him. So I wanted to see your funny faces so I could laugh. Her eyes go cross. Yeah, and my eyes go cross. I had to wear prism. <laughs> prism. Prism. <I> <laughs> You do too. <laughs> That's the best part. Nick made fun of me because I had to use prism in my in my glasses because my one eye would kind of go in. <laughs> and then uh, and now Nick has to wear prism. <laughs> yep. See what goes around comes around. It I used sure to make does. fun of my mom for her wide feet, and now I have wider feet than her. So <laughs> be nice to people. <laughs> <laughs> all right nick everyone's saying best stream yet they loved it i loved it too we had so much fun nick freaking roebuck ladies and gentlemen um nick tell everybody to like follow you on instagram what's your in where are you at follow me on instagram at nick roebuck come on <laughs> come on bitches i want to see y'all <laughs> i want to see y'all i send him those likes and follows um, uh, if I get more followers, I'll post more. I know it's usually the other way around, but you know. There you go. There you go. Maybe some like some naked mirror shots or something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're a dad. You got to keep it clean, you know? <laughs> we'll keep it above the waist fans only. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Love you, Nick. Love you. Have fun. Bye. Bye, Taylor.